Here I am doing the basic setup for a Epson 595WI with the touch unit. I'm trying to do the touch unit calibration. The difficulty with these touch units is that they're very sensitive to having a extremely flat uniform surface. And if your whiteboard isn't firmly glued down, it can have an effect on the alignment of the system. So here I have the alignment set up for the touch unit and you'll see that it's just a little bit outside the area, not quite right. Okay, so if I touch the board right in the center and give it a little push, it goes into alignment. So I'm not touching the box, I'm pushing on the board it's perfect right now as long as I have pressure right there but as soon as I let go it's out so getting it exactly right is difficult and then also there's a thing where it seems to want to skate past the sensitive point if you if you are just touching the box the box can move it around too and you can get this jitteriness which is makes it difficult to align it okay so why is it jumping past it and then back but it, it's it's like it skips over the center what does that mean so see all I'm doing is I'm just I'm touching the knob I'm not really doing anything other than just touching the knob and that is enough to cause alignment problems so you see it's way up, so I need to turn it back. But see, just touching the unit is enough to make it jump all over the place. So it's it's difficult to get this thing right. You know, it's it seems like it's way more sensitive than it needs to be. Okay, so now I'm really close to where it needs to be, but um, not quite. Just just a little tiny bit out. But once again here, if I touch, just touching the board, I'm just now touching the board very lightly, and now it's in alignment. And when I just let go, it's out. So it's very picky. And it, you know, for a tool that people are using day to day, it doesn't seem like it should be this picky. So it says it's okay let go and it's not. I mean, I'm just I'm just touching the board with just the lightest bit of finger pressure. And that is enough to skew the alignment of the sensors. And this to me is not good because this means that it's it's very very picky about getting just the perfect alignment and it, you know, that affects your accuracy. It should not be this picky that a a, a gram or so of force on the board is enough to affect the alignment of the system so um, they work good for the most part but I think Epson needs to do a little better job with this optical alignment system